Hey everybody, Steve here. Um, there's some sad news um, or some great news. It depends on how you look at it. If you look in the description box, there's an article entitled Two Street Preachers Shot to Death in Florida. And I just want to read this to you. Boynton Beach, Florida. Two men ministering on the streets of Boynton Beach were gunned down by an 18-year-old man. Police say 24-year-old 24 24-year-old Tite Sufra and 23-year-old Stephen Ocean were preaching to Jeriah Woody for about 15 minutes until he got a phone call. Woody left, but then allegedly started walking towards the two. When Sufra approached, Woody allegedly shot him in the head. Mr. Ocean ran, and police say Woody shot him in the back and then walked up and shot him again, this time in the head at point-blank range. Uh, it says that Woody, who has a street name of Plug, he surrendered Wednesday on two counts of first-degree murder charges. Now, this is a little unheartening, and I feel sorry for the loss of the family uh, who lost those two people who are standing on the truth of God's Word. They were going out and they were ministering and they are witnessing of the life that Jesus Christ gives. And while we pray for their families, uh, we also want to pray for this guy, Woody, because obviously the truth of God in his word touched his heart. But when you're hard-hearted and you don't want to repent and you become so calloused to the truth, uh, many people just ignore and they'll just continue in their sin. Others, like Woody here, uh, committed an act of violence and actually killed these ministers, these street preachers. We shouldn't be surprised because in Matthew 24, 9 through 14, it says, Then you will be handed over and persecuted and put to death, and you will be hated by all nations because of me. At that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other, and many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. This is so true, and it goes on to say, uh, Jesus speaking, because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. But he who stands firm to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached to the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. It's no surprise that, uh, that the love of many has grown cold and that there's lots of false teachers and false prophets and people that are claiming to be Christians are doing everything except being what they are called to do. And then we have those very few that actually go out and preach the word, that witness to the lost, who are laying down their lives for the gospel. The thing is that people can't even, they'll recommend to others the type of car they have, their favorite TV shows, their favorite soap operas, whatever it is, they'll recommend all that stuff and they'll tell, they'll tell total strangers about a football game and why they like this and like that. But they won't talk about Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross to save the entire world if they would only repent and ask forgiveness and follow him. But instead they're callous, their hearts are hard and, and they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to be confronted of their sin of breaking God's laws. The thing is, we shouldn't be afraid. Matthew 10, 28 says, Do not be afraid of those who can kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both the soul and body in hell. See, we're going to serve God, and our inheritance is in heaven. It's not here on earth. And while no one wants to die, we need to be firm in our faith, and we need to know God's word to the point of where we know where our citizenship is at. No one wants to die. No one wants to, to go through extreme pain. We'd rather that the Lord come take us home. But as servants and high priests of him, we are called to be obedient. Because Jesus said that those who love him obey his commands. And we're supposed to trust and rely on him. And that there are those, as wickedness increases, that we'll see more and more of this. We'll see more violence, higher crime rates, more greed, more corruption, more itching ears, uh, more false teaching and false prophets. 
and a blending of all religions into where you can believe whatever you want as long as you don't stand on the truth of Jesus Christ who said he was the way, the truth, and the life and that there is no way to come to the Father except through him. This one passage I want to bring out comes from Acts chapter 7 where Stephen, where he was preaching to the Sanhedrin, those who killed Jesus Christ. And I mean, he laid it out. Read that. That was the gospel message. He was going against those and he just laid it on the line. And it ends up that as he finishes, it, 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 it ends up in verse 54, it says, when they heard this, they were furious and gnashed their teeth at him. But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of, uh, right hand of God. At this, they covered their ears and yelling at the top of their voices, they all rushed him, dragged him out to the city and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witnesses laid their clothes at the feet of a young man named Saul. But here's the great part. Verse 59. While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. They fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this, this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. Where is our faith? Where is our obedience and where is our love? to the one who saved us. How come people who claim the name of Christ can't stand on his word? They can't obey his commands. They don't walk in love and rather they cherry pick and they become hypocrites. When we see what's on the line Eternity in heaven or eternity in hell. It's time to wake up. Time is going by faster and faster and there's a reason for it. It's time to wake up. It's time to repent. It's, re it's time to submit to God in everything, not just Sunday and Wednesday. Stop being a hypocrite. Stop being fake. God wrote in his word. He didn't say it just to hear himself speak. His words have meaning and it's truth and it's life. But if you fly against the face of reason and God, it's not going to end well. These two people, these ministers, uh, Tite and Stephen, who died for the sake of the gospel, to your families, if these were your sons or your brothers, if they were in your family, just know that as Stephen prayed when he was stoned and killed for the sake of the gospel, that Jesus is there with open arms and he's bringing them and he accepted them into heaven to have eternal life with him where Jesus said that he will take away all the pain, that there will be no more tears. We just pray that your grief is, is short. And that maybe the reason that this happened, that, that they were spared a greater pain. But in the end, we know that they were doing what God wanted them to do. Take care. God bless. Peace be with you.